At one time, the future of hula was very bleak in the 50s and the 60s. In the Renaissance, it started to pick up again, and there was growing interest in learning how to hula. Today, the hula is worldwide, as you know, or maybe you don't know. Um, so many halals overseas in Japan, in France, not only Japan, but you know, uh, Mexico. There's so many countries outside of Hawaii that just love to dance hula. So we know that hula will continue. Yeah, and, and it has a, a great, uh, great future. We have so many young kumus that know how to learn, know how to speak Hawaiian. They've learned how to speak Hawaiian, they compose in Hawaiian, and they also have a halau and they teach their, their students the language as well. And I think it's just so wonderful that we see this great comeback in hula, strong, strong comeback. And, and that's really what we've been working towards since the Renaissance, having our young people learn our culture, learn our language. For me, I'm still learning the language, yeah? Pakiki, yeah, but still must try, yeah, always trying to speak the language, um, and I just love it. I love to see and listen to the to the to the language of of our grandparents. But today you hear the babies speaking too, and it's just wonderful. All of it is part of teaching hula, and so the hula uh, will live as long as the language is there which we know yeah there's a many many children and and and, and uh, kumus and adults that are learning and they are um, very determined we are very determined to know our own language therefore our culture our hula will always be with us as long as we dedicate ourselves to this cause and to this end that we will never let that ever happen again where the extinction of our culture is on the brink of being lost to us but I don't think it'll ever happen again